Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to locally install and test a new TTS model which is being compared to Sesame's CSM 1 billion and even 11 Lab Studio. This model directly generates highly realistic dialogue from a transcript. You can even condition the output on audio enabling emotion and tone control. This model can also produce non-verbal communication like coughing, laughter, clearing throat and few other emotions and we will also test it out. They also have provided access to their pre-trained model checkpoints and inference code. So let's get started. I also want to thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM. First up, let's get clone the repo of Dia because they have provided some of the inference code there. And that is done. I will also drop the link to it in video's description. I am going to install this with the help of um, UV which is a Python project and package manager. In order to install UV, all you need to do is to run this curl command. You can install it through pip or you could install it through um, your virtual environment. And there are various other ways, but I believe this curl one is good. You can also use wget if you like. So everything is installed. Uh, it's always a good idea to source it or to add this into your local path and profile. So let me paste it here. And UV is installed as you can see here. Next up, all you need to do is to run this command from the root of the repo. And as soon as you run this command, you can see that it is installing everything. So let's wait for it. And the first time when you run it, after creating virtual environment, installing all the prerequisite, it is downloading the checkpoints. And the model size is just over 6 gig. And there you go. So now it is running the Gradio demo on our local host at port 7860. Let me launch it. And there you go. So our Nari Dia text to speech synthesis is there, where on the left hand side at the top we have some random text. And then we have, uh, you can also get, give it the audio prompt, and then you can generate the audio. They also have some examples, I believe, here. But let me run this just to see what happens. So you just clicked on generate audio. It is generating the audio. And let's also check the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming around 11 gig of VRAM, the whole model. Okay, a bit high for a DTS model of this size, but anyway. And it has already generated the audio, so let me play this. Dia is an open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Okay, so because I think I'm running it in my VM, so there is a, a breakage in the voice. So let me download this file, move it to my browser, and then run it again to see the quality. So this is audio.wave file. Let me play it in my browser. Okay, so let me take you to my browser and play it there. Dia is an open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Try it now on GitHub or Hugging Face. Pretty good. The quality is very, very good. Okay, let's try a few more examples. Okay, now there is a audio prompt too, which is optional. Open weights text to dialogue model. You get full control over scripts and voices. And then there is this input text. Let's generate the audio. Okay, let me rerun it. It seems not accepting the audio prompt, but let me try again. Now it seems to me maybe some package is missing. Let's check the logs. There you go. So it says that FFM pack is not installed. Let me install the FFM pack and then try again. So I'm just going to press Control C here. And that is done. Let's install FFM pack. 
I'm just using the apt, in apt install of a pump pack here. And that is done. I think we are good now. Let's run that uv run app.py again. This time it will just run our demo. It won't download everything again. You see it is just loading the model. And there you go. So it has done it. Let's see. Let me refresh this page. And then maybe this time I'm just going to select this. One of the examples. Let's click on generate audio now. This time it is running. Okay, let's wait to see what it produces. It has generated the audio. Let me play it in the browser. I'm biased, but I think we clearly won. Hard to disagree. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this demo. Try it now on GitHub and Hugging Face. If you liked our model, please give us a star and share to your friends. Okay, but it this was Nari Labs. Okay, so there was a pause in between. Okay, let's try out a few more. In the next example, I have given it a bit longer text, the whole transcript with two speakers and it's a different dialogue where we are clearing the throat, a bit nervous, so I was thinking about that story we started telling the other day. Soft laugh, the one where the main characters just can't seem to stop laughing together and then coughing awkwardly and are you suggesting we continue our story over dinner and that sort of stuff. And you can see it just took th around 30 seconds, okay, it's going above. So there are a few emotions and there is some uh, suggestive text too. So let's see what it produces and then we are going to run it. Okay, so let me play this one now. <coughs> a bit nervous. So uh, I was thinking about that story we started telling the other day. The one where the main characters just can't seem to stop laughing together? <coughs> yeah, that one. I feel like every time we talk, I want to know how the next chapter goes. Maybe the next chapter is tonight. Are you suggesting we continue our story over dinner? Well, I might need some convincing. Dim. Okay, how about this dinner at that little bistro you like? Maybe a walk by the river after. Just us, the city lights, and our never-ending conversation. Such and soft laughter? That actually sounds perfect. Then it's a date. Tonight you meet our story, chapter two. Then it's a date. Tonight you meet our story, chapter two. Okay, that was not perfect. So emotions were there. It has done it nicely, but I think because I have also included some of the emotions which were not mentioned in the data set. So it seems it only sticks to this coughing, laughter and few other emotions. When you add more emotion, it just goes sideways. Anyway. Okay, next up, I'm just testing it with a customer dialogue where customer is slightly disappointed that I can't believe what was in my package today. And then there is a customer rep or sales rep. So let's see what it produces here and I have included some of the emotions. What I have done slightly different is that I have included various forms of cuff like cuffing, cuff and cuffs. So let's see if it is able to do that. Okay, so now let me play this one. <coughs> I can't believe what was in my package today. <coughs> uh oh, was it that bad? It's one. <coughs> I seriously thought I was getting new headphones. S two, don't tell me it's another kitchen appliance. It's one. <coughs> yep, a shiny, ridiculous toaster. It's two. <laughs> well, that's one way to make your music pop. <coughs> Too bad it only plays bread, not tunes. <coughs> Imagine plugging that into your phone, just crumbs everywhere. <laughs> More like a crunchy playlist. That's two. <coughs> then clears throat. Breakfast will never sound the same again. <coughs> Next unboxing, I'm bringing jam just in case. Look, the transcript uh, transcription is not bad. So TTS is quite good. It follows um, the whole transcript, which is good. Makes some uh, times mistake, switching over voices, misses little bit of words here and there. But I think really, really good model given the size. VRAM consumption is a bit higher, but I could start networking and it won't end. But I believe pretty good effort altogether. Let me know what you think about this model. I will drop the link to its step in video's description. Also, before I let you go, I wanted to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.